more of a rotation of how we would probably play um, if it was a, a real game. Um, I thought I thought Jalen Lindsey set the tone in the second half. Uh, you know, he came and told me he's going to guard their their shooter. He was really lighting us up, and I thought he set the tone the entire second half. And I thought all of our young guys came in and were really energetic and impacted the entire game. So. I was happy to see that. I thought Emmett Holt kept us consistent the whole time. And, uh, you know, Rodney getting his legs under him. I thought every, it was a really, really uh, systematic win for us. And, and that's not normally how we've played in the past. In an exhibition game like this, this is really probably couldn't have grown it up any better because they're obviously no. a good team and you had to play. We really had to play. That team in there is going to win 25 games up in Canada. They may win the national championship again up there. It was something we've never done as far as play an exhibition game before scrimmage. Uh, live like that, so credit our players for staying locked in and dialed in. And, uh, I thought it was a really good team win. Is that all they needed? Was that first half? Because, they need a lot know, more than that, but yeah. they definitely. Need, I, I thought they were anxious. Um, you know, Malik hits a three, then throws an air ball, then turns the ball over. So, you know, we need we need some game time under our belt. But all in all. Uh, Good effort. Uh, looking forward to getting back and uh, getting to practice. Talk about Malik a little bit. Obviously, he looked more comfortable. He you did. mentioned as the game went on. Malik uh, has, getting, has been getting better over the course of the week. Uh, we've been trying to play him a little bit with Kyron to get him off the ball and on the ball. Uh, more of a scorer than a, a facilitator, and uh, we're going to need that. The fact that they had guards that can really score, and that's what you're going to play against that in the Big East the whole time. Big guys keep you winning the game, guards win the game for you. Defensively, did you do anything different in the second half? I thought the guys were a little bit more focused. Yep. We made one slight adjustment on the ball screen mm -hmm. with our four and five men. We didn't switch as much as we did in the first half. You guys probably saw that. So the ball stalled, and that's a really, really good passing team. So we didn't want the ball to move. We wanted to try to stop the ball as much as we can, and I think the adjustment helped the team. Are your concerns more offensively or defensively? Both right now still. Yep. You know, hey guys, we're a work in progress. Yep. You know what I mean? We, we, we lost some really, really good players, and I'm really proud of the grit that our guys showed. I was shocked by the second half performance, to be honest with you. You know, I didn't expect us to be that dialed in this early in the season defensively and have a little bit more pride. It was actually fun to watch. What did you think of the transition defense? It was better. It was better in the second half. That, you know, and they, they scored a little bit off our turnovers. Uh, they got bigger guards, so we got yeah. pushed around a little bit, but I thought Diallo and White physically kind of stepped up for So, again, it was really good effort for our guys. The veterans in the first half, obviously, no one really shot the ball well. I mean, no. is that a good... A little eye opening, or I think I think it's a little bit of a concern. I, I didn't think we got Ryan enough open looks early. You know, I mean, Ryan needs to see the ball go through the net, and then once he starts cutting like that, it opens everything out. I mean, we got slips, we got post ups, we got and ones. We just got to make sure he gets one or two looks really early in the game, and I think that really helps. You mentioned Jalen going to you and saying, "I want to go guard their best guy." Obviously, being a junior, now you evolve and you kind of do things like that now. Yeah, you know, I, I love when the players tell me what they want to do, you know, because they're telling me something I need to listen to. As coaches, we can't be arrogant and not listen to our players. Those guys are out there, especially guys that've been through it. So it was good to see. What needs to happen before your first game for now? Your guys got to continue to develop. We need to have more chemistry on the floor. We have. We, we need more than eight assists if we're going to win a game. You, you can't win games. We, we need to average 16 to 18 assists a game in order to be a high, high octane team. Do you think we're going to see a bigger rotation in the last Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. Like I said, it's just.